So, uh, I uh, saw you got married, uh, and how's life changed uh, since you got married? I got married like a year ago. Oh, right on. Congratulations. Thanks, man. You too. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been great. I mean, not, not a lot's changed. We, uh, we've known each other three years now, so, um, you know, we're best friends, and living together and everything has been uh, yeah. kind of a treat. It's, you know, we help each other out. We're a good team, and, you know, the wedding itself was amazing. It couldn't have gone better. And we had a honeymoon in Tahiti, which was perfect. And since then, we've been nice. living back in Arizona and getting ready for the season. Um, I, uh, I'm actually, your dad's one, a friend of mine on Facebook, so okay. I saw some of the pictures. Uh, he's a good photographer. Uh, was, was, was it Franzen was in your wedding party? Yep. Is that correct? And Rowan. And uh, oh, and Rowan too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see him in there. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, you guys, uh, you had a whole team on your yeah. uh, wedding party. Yeah. Uh, how, what was it like to have uh, guys like that, you know, guys that you play with, you know, and maybe you've gone to separate organizations and things, but, uh, you know, to have friends like that that stayed friends for so long, what was it like to have them at your wedding? Oh, it was, you know, it's, it's always a treat to see guys in the off-season, because, you, you know, the off-season is usually a time where everyone scatters and with their families, and, uh, you know, we're getting a little bit older now, so <laughs> people have other commitments, but, you know, it's, baseball's such a small community, and, you know, you have those tight-knit group of friends that you came up with or, you know, you spent so much time with the guys during the season. And, you know, I've got a lot of close friends and, you know, I'm very fortunate to have those friends and I was fortunate to have them at my wedding, too. Um, so how's your how's your foot doing? Is it fully healed? It's 100%. Yeah, it's... Um, after hurting your shoulder in, in 2010 and then your foot last year, do you worry about getting your reputation as being injury prone or, I mean, because those are kind of fluke injuries that you have, yeah. not like, those aren't like ligament problems that are hereditary or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I, in 2010 I had a bad dive where I hurt my shoulder pretty bad and, you know, I rehabbed it back to health, so there's no issues there. My foot was just a freak thing where, you know, I... I pulled a, a sinker in and off my foot and hit the wrong bone. So, um, yeah, it's, it's one thing that I can't say I need to work on, but I've worked on be becoming more flexible and trying to, you know, do injury prevention. How do you work on stretching more and, stretching. and just getting more athletic in baseball shape versus, you know, lifting too heavy or, or spending too much time doing non-baseball specific activities. Do you think you changed uh, quite a bit in that area this past off season? Do you think you were doing a lot more heavy lifting and, and non-baseball stuff? No, I mean, well, this off season, I've I pretty much I took a new um, kind of had a different perspective. Talked to Carl, our new strength guy, a lot, and came up with a program and switched to a little bit lighter stuff, more baseball work. I I got to Arizona at the end of December and I've been you know hitting on the field a lot and just doing a lot more baseball work earlier this year which I think you know is going to help me first coming to spring training bulky and breaking down at some point. Do you feel like you were a little bulky last year? Um, I I feel like every year I have been mm -hmm. I've just concentrated more on things that don't pertain to baseball you know whether it's you know, lifting too much or not just not doing base sports specific stuff, which I think the game's really changed. You know, even the last five years, got guys doing a lot more core stuff and and uh, you know rotational things that are going to help you more versus just doing you know beach workouts. Yeah. Uh, have you? Uh, would you ever be open to playing center? If Definitely. need be, yeah. I'm open to play any any outfield position this year. And did you uh, have you been training and, and working on on that during this past off season? I have like, been actually. I've been working. Uh, I've been taking you know batting. We've been hitting a little bit on the field down in Arizona, and I've been taking my you know reps everywhere but right field. So you know I can get a little bit more used to playing center and left. Um, you played. I know you played third uh, coming up, and uh, have you played center competitively? Or, I played or in the Olympics. Oh, you uh, played center in the Olympics. Yeah, 2008. That was the last time. So it's been a while, but I feel like if you can play outfield, you can play outfield. So you know, it's it's going to be a little bit extra work and, and reps, but you know, I'm I feel like I can play any outfield position. So I'm definitely more than willing to put in the time. 
do you feel like at AT and T it may be even a little easier to play center than right? Um, not necessarily. I mean, there's a lot of ground out there to cover. 421's a huge gap. So, I mean, both positions have, you know, they're um, just different nooks and crannies. And, and, you know, right field's tricky too. But you know, I'm happy to play wherever, you know, Bosch needs me. Um, you were kind of coming on this past season and then you got injured. Um, you know, at the plate, do you have any sort of goals for things you want to do differently or, or improve on or just build on what you did last year? Um, I mean, I haven't set my goals yet, but I'm, I'm looking definitely to build on last year. I feel like I had a different approach um, once I started playing, kind of from the end of spring training, changed my approach from the past, and I just felt like a different player and like I was capable to do a lot more damage. And, and this year, you know, I looked to build on that. And, you know, it's a bummer. I broke my foot and had to miss the last six weeks. But on the other hand, I, you know, I'm very confident coming into this season. And that's, you know, that's probably one of the biggest things in baseball. Um, when you say you change your approach, um, what exactly does that mean? Uh, just my mindset, you know, in different situations, the plate, whether, you know, pressure's on or not, or, or you know, ninth inning. I just um, did a lot of reading and different, you know, mental sports psychology books and, and kind of just I think I learned how to funnel the pressure a little bit differently and, and it, it helped last year.